Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys another example of rates of change. And this time, this problem is found in thermodynamics. Well, one of the quantities of interest in thermodynamics is compressibility. If a given substance is kept at a constant temperature, then its volume V depends on its pressure P. So we have this um, mathematical notation here. Delta V represents the change in volume and delta P is the change in pressure. So when you consider this, it basically uh, mm, says that this is the average rate of change of volume with respect to pressure. And now when you add the term uh, limit uh, delta T approaches zero, um, I'm sorry, this is not delta T approaches zero, this is supposed to be delta P approaches zero. So when you add this term here, next to delta V delta P, next to delta V over delta P, now this whole expression here will then become the derivative. That can be mathematically represented as dvdp and basically when you talk about derivative you are actually talking about the instantaneous rate of change of volume with respect to pressure now let's consider a simple example um, just to illustrate the idea that we have discussed just now now according to Bohr's law uh, it states that when a sample of a gas is compressed at a constant temperature, the product of the pressure and the volume remains constant. And that's why we have this equation here, PV is equal to C. PV here is the product of pressure and volume. And C here is the answer, C is a constant. Now we're going to look at uh, the first question which is to find the rate of change of volume with respect to pressure. So basically that can be translated as what is dV dP? So we're looking to find the answer to this. And before you uh, can actually get on with differentiating, uh, let's rearrange this equation here so that volume becomes the subject. So PV is equal to C, therefore V is equal to C over P. And that can be actually written as C times pressure, negative 1. Now, um, the reason I'm doing this is because later on it will be easier to differentiate uh, this equation with respect to P. Okay, so now uh, dV dP will be, C is a constant, so you're just going to put it aside, so C is a constant. So times, uh, if you differentiate P negative 1 to the power of negative 1, that will be negative 1. So P negative 1 minus 1, so then it will be negative C, P negative 2, and that can be simplified as negative C over p squared okay so um, notice that we have the sign negative here so basically uh, the negative sign here um, shows that the quantity that you are measuring is decreasing over time Okay, this decrease is decreasing over time. Now, because pressure depends on time, and so um, the quantity that you are measuring here, which is the volume here, the rate of change of volume with respect to pressure, so that the quantity of volume here will be also decreasing with respect to time. Okay, so uh, if I want to write my answer here, okay, instead of writing my answer in um, mathematical equation. I can also represent it using words. So that would be uh, saying that uh, therefore uh, volume is volume is 
decreasing with respect to pressure at a rate of C over P squared. Okay. Now I would like to highlight two important things here. First of all is that notice there is no negative sign next to this term. Now why there is no negative sign is because I have already incorporated the word decreasing. So decreasing is um, uh, the, the meaning of decreasing is you have a negative sign. So since uh, you have decreasing, so this is this mathematically is represented by a, a negative sign. So this is a negative. So decreasing here means negative. So we don't need to to have a negative sign next to this term anymore. Okay. So next. Let's look at question B. A sample of gas is in container at low pressure and is steadily compressed at constant temperature for 10 minutes. Is the volume decreasing more rapidly at the beginning or at the end of the 10 minutes? Now, uh, the question is asking you to examine the behavior of volume. Uh, and so, we know that volume is uh, given by C over P. Uh, C is a constant. P is uh, another variable here. So, it depends on pressure. Now, uh, pressure itself is related to time. So, uh, when time uh, increases, so if this is the timeline, so it increases from, let's say, 0 to 10 minutes, okay, uh, pressure will also increase. So, this is my pressure. Pressure will also increase when time increases. So, now, uh, if I consider... Um, this axis to be uh, represented as volume and and this graph that I have over here V is equal to C over P can be sketched as such and this is something that you have learned in chapter 1 um, so C is a constant so C times 1 over P so this is how the graph may look like and uh, you can see clearly that this is the beginning and this is towards the end of 10 minutes so therefore uh, you based on this you can see that the volume uh, this is the volume so it decreases more rapidly here compared to at the end because at the end as you can see here the the slope is flatter flatter compared to the slope that you see here which is steeper than this one okay so based on that we can say that um, volume uh, decreases more rapidly at the beginning of 10 minutes Alright, um, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video with more examples related to risk of change.